Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So I'm picking up a very, very powerful energy, but also a very powerful connection. A connection that was extremely intense from the very, very beginning, literally since the day that you crossed paths with your person. Divine Feminine, this masculine did not see you coming, okay? And they didn't see you coming because they completely had their guard down when they came in contact with you. They were not thinking about falling in love. They thought that this connection may have been like any other connection, okay? They were really, really confused about their emotions. They felt as if something about you was extremely different here. Um, but they couldn't quite put their finger on it, all right? I'm getting that you caught this masculine completely off guard. I'm picking up a very powerful, very dominant energy, okay? A masculine who really assumed this position of wanting to control the direction of this connection, being very strategic about how expressive they were going to be with you, how much emotion they were going to show, what type of gestures they were going to show here. Um, they really tried to navigate this connection in the same manner that they navigated every other connection. But once they came in contact with you, Divine Feminine, and I'm getting that their guard was completely down, okay? This is kind of how you navigate it into their heart space. As you begin to peel back the layers in this connection, as you begin to have these intimate talks, and they begin to let you into their world and let you know their hopes, their fears, their dreams here. It's almost as if this happened and they didn't even know that they were falling in love with you here, okay? Your person is at this place in the connection where they feel extremely exposed, okay, emotionally. They have never been penetrated emotionally in this way that you have done them, Divine Feminine. They feel raw. They are at the place where they have literally come face to face with their greatest fear. And this is to completely be lost in someone, okay? This is a masculine energy that was very intentional, very strategic about not wanting to really give of themselves in that way to be completely lost in the person, okay? But somewhere along your journey, they lost their footing here, okay? You were the person who was able to crack right into their heart space and to get past that ego, okay? I'm getting a massive, massive ego that you were dealing with as it pertains to this energy here. And your person is coming through letting you know that they're kind of at this position of surrender, okay? But I'm getting that this caught them completely off guard, okay? They definitely did not expect for you, Divine Feminine, to have this much of an effect on them, okay? I'm getting that they never saw you coming. The way that you did this was extremely organic, okay? I'm getting that this was not with force. This was just you being your natural self here. Your person began to get really, really comfortable in your energy. And it's almost as if they just got lost in you, okay? It's like over time, you begin to really peel back the layers and see their true raw soul, okay? And now they stand here fully, fully exposed, realizing that you are the person who has this access to their innermost parts here, all right? And they feel as if you have shattered them. Um, but what's really happening is that their ego is shattering and their heart space is expanding, okay? So they may very well be going through a very, very, um, very, very hefty emotional purge at this time. You may be feeling them pulling on your energy. You may feel extremely tired as well here as the as these energetic shifts are happening. But yeah, Divine Feminine, um, 
this is a very powerful energy that I'm tapping into here. I definitely feel like you have been through ups and downs with this person here. I feel like you have allowed your intuition to guide you throughout this connection because your person was extremely intentional, okay, about assuming this position of control, about driving this connection. And it's almost as if you being the feminine energy you had this way of kind of shifting the dynamic literally from the inside out. And your person stands here today extremely vulnerable, extremely raw, okay? And really coming face to face with their greatest fear, which is completely being lost in another person here, okay? Wow. Okay, this is very intense energy. I feel like Divine Feminine, you have a very, very powerful intuition, okay? I definitely feel that you have known from the very beginning that you held a little bit more power than your person would have liked you to admit. You knew that they were feeling very, very intensely for you because their energy was telling on them, okay? Although their mouths were saying one thing, it's almost as if they were drawing into you more. They wanted to spend a lot of time with you. The way that your conversations would go, you would hear them wanting to open up and wanting to express to you, but they were very, very stubborn and very, very strategic about navigating this connection here. They were definitely operating in their ego. And it's almost as if before they knew it, you kind of hit them out of nowhere here, okay? Wow. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is my access to you is being restricted. Wow. Okay, so at this time, I feel like there's some type of break within the communication, okay? I'm getting definitely, definitely a hit or miss type of energy where it's almost as if you both really want to come together at this time, but something, there's a higher power that's over this connection right now. I feel like this is really playing into your person feeling extremely raw, extremely exposed, because at this time, they want nothing more than to connect with you. They want nothing more to explore these emotions with you, Divine Feminine. But there is a very, very sacred recalibration that's happening within your connection right now where a higher power has stepped in. I feel like Divine Feminine, just collectively, um, the feminine energy is really, really rising. You're getting to this place where you're operating in your yin energy. Very, very powerful position at this time here. And I feel like you may have set very, very intentional um, intentions um, for this connection here and put these out into the universe. It's almost as if you made demands for this connection. It's almost as if you got very, very clear about what it is that you want your life to be like, how it is that you want your love to be, how you want to feel. This is coming from your inner compass, your emotions, how it is that you want to feel. I definitely feel you are assuming this position of receptivity, of magnetism, and there is more love coming into your life right now. But because you have put these intentions out into the universe here, it's almost as if the universe has received your request, okay? And there's a higher power that is working on you as well as working on your person here. So whatever they're going through that's causing them to feel this purge, that's causing them to rid themselves of this heavy, heavy ego that's kind of been shadowing over your connection here, this is very pivotal, okay? And there, this is extremely strategic, okay? So there's definitely massive shifts that are happening behind the scenes right now as it pertains to your connection. Okay, I definitely feel like you're at this place where although things may be a little bit shaky as these energetic shifts happen, you feel this sense of calm. It's almost as if you know your power, you know your worth at this stage of your life. You know what it is that you deserve here. And I definitely feel like your divine masculine is stepping into this reciprocal energy, whereas 
you're becoming more imbalanced within this connection, they're definitely seeing you very, very clearly right now, okay? Extremely clearly. But I definitely feel this energy of fear as it pertains to them, but also just this really, really deep yearning for you where they want to connect with you. They want to kind of explore these emotions, but it's something happening where the universe has stepped in and they kind of have to sift through these emotions by themselves here, okay? And this is causing them to feel extremely exposed in a way that they have never felt before, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message that we have is you're so powerful. Yeah. I'm definitely getting that divine feminine. You have no idea just how much power you hold in this connection. But because your power doesn't come from you taking action or doesn't come from you initiating, sometimes you question if your person can feel, you know, how powerful you are, if they know your worth here, if they know how powerful your connection even is. They absolutely do, okay? They absolutely do. It's almost as if you have this ability to really, really shift the dynamic by being in your natural state, by assuming your natural feminine energy and allowing this masculine to assume this action energy here, okay? I'm definitely getting that. There's something about the way that your masculine is viewing you at this current time here, they are absolutely aware of how powerful you are, Divine Feminine. It's the way in which you communicate with them. It's the way in which you're able to extract information from them that is so effortless, okay? But to them, it seems so complex. It's almost as if they're trying to figure out your source of power. They're trying to figure out how it is that you're able to pull on them emotionally, sexually, mentally, in every facet of their lives here. It's almost as if your, your energy is extremely intense. You're extremely intuitive, okay? And it's been like this from the very, very beginning. But your person was very strategic about keeping this from you, okay? This is someone who wanted to operate in control. This is someone who wanted to navigate this connection in the same manner that they navigated every other connection in their lives. And they, they have never experienced a powerful energy like you, Divine Feminine, okay? And this is completely evident to the point where they're coming through, you know, kind of feeling as if they are broken a little bit, like they can't function. But what's actually happening is that they're no longer able to function in that lower vibration if they want to be in this divine connection with you here. There has to be a process where they have to be stretched a little bit, okay? And I feel like your person knew this from the very, very beginning, but they showed this in very different ways, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. Yeah, we have you make me so nervous, okay? I definitely feel like this is a very raw moment for your person. Your person is being very like open, um, very honest, really allowing their heart space their heart space to speak and not allowing their ego to take over them anymore here. It's almost as if they want you to know just how much you play on their minds and their hearts was even the simplest thing here, okay? I'm definitely getting that they are being very intentional about how they move forward in this connection here. They're considering what they've been through in their journeys. They're, they're considering what it is that you've been through and they're just looking at your connection as a whole here. But if they were to be completely honest, they are extremely nervous, okay, about approaching you, Divine Feminine because they feel your power. They feel your yin energy rising. They know that you are not the same person that they came in contact with. You have definitely leveled up in many different areas of your life. But I feel like most importantly, 
as you approach, you know, this next stage of your life, as you think about the type of love that you want, it's more about a feeling, okay? It's more about the energy that you would like to bask in. And your person knows that they have to be a vibrational match for you, all right? So it's almost as if your person could very well be praying as well. Your person could very well be putting their intentions out into the universe, asking a higher power to kind of order their steps in their approach towards you, okay? I'm getting very intentional energy here. This is surrender. This is the surrender of your person's ego. So if you are wondering what it is that they're going through, why they're at a distance from you here, you have literally cracked this masculine wide open, okay? Um, I'm literally getting you have their heart in the palm of your hands, okay? If they were to be completely honest with you, they will tell you that you have way more power than you could have even imagined within this connection here. And this is because you are the only person that has access to the innermost parts of them, to the most sacred, their most sacred prized possession, and that is their heart, okay? They have never met anyone like you before. No one was ever able to emotionally penetrate this masculine in the way that you have, okay? And so as they look at your connection in the future, as they're trying to figure out how to move this connection forward here, they're extremely nervous, okay? Because it's almost as if, wow, this divine feminine is really not playing, okay? You're at this position in your life where you want to really give of yourself. You want to feel as if you can really, really um, pour your heart into your love, into this love in your life here and, and really be well watered, okay? You want someone who's going to nurture you. Right now, reciprocity is at the top of your list, Divine Feminine, and you are not budging, okay? And this masculine knows that you are not budging. So it's almost as if the universe had to step in here, kind of separate you all, help you to raise your energy, Divine Feminine, help this Divine Masculine to clear their energy, to get rid of that ego, okay, that was serving as a block in your connection, so that when you both come together, this can be magical, literally. This can be extremely beautiful. So yeah, this is, wow. This is a powerful, very powerful connection here, okay? Very powerful connection. You definitely may be seeing signs and things. You may be seeing the number 222. You may be seeing 333 as well as 1111 or other sides and things that are relevant to your individual connection here. But yeah, this is very, very powerful, okay? A higher power is over this and has stepped in to really, really help establish balance within your connection, okay? Your person may be taking this a little bit harder. Um, this emotional purge may be a little hard for them. If you are in contact with them, just be, you know, a little bit mindful about the communication. They are extremely triggered, okay? Um, if you are not in connection with them right now, you definitely can pick up on their emotional process, even from a distance, okay? You may be feeling just extremely heavy emotions. These are your person's emotions at this time. Let's get the next message here. Wow. Yeah. The next message we have is, what did you do to me? Wow. Divine Feminine, this masculine energy here is not the same. Okay. They are not the same. I definitely feel like they are talking to themselves. Okay. If they have someone that they can speak to in confidence, they're extremely mind blown. About how, like by how you were able to navigate this very, very pivotal shift within their own selves and within this connection here, okay? You have changed them. This is a divine masculine I'm picking up that may be extremely stubborn, but I'm definitely getting very, very intentional about wanting to control this connection, just about wanting to assume this position 
of control and not budging, okay? You may have very well experienced a lot of back and forth with your person, a lot of hot and cold energy, just because you felt as if your masculine was not willing to budge, okay? They came into this connection feeling as if they already knew what was gonna happen, okay? Um, they really had like a cocky kind of energy, but they never saw you coming Divine Feminine. And now they stand here in this position, in this complete position of surrender, asking themselves, what did this Divine Feminine do to me? Like, who am I? Am I even myself anymore? Why am I feeling all of these emotions? Why do I feel this, you know, all of these different range of emotions? What is this purge that's happening? They may even be crying. Okay, um, wow. This Divine Masculine is really, really shredding their ego, okay? But I feel a, a good energy from this. I definitely feel a light energy. This is something that they've been holding on to for a very long time, even before you, Divine Feminine. I'm definitely feeling that things from their past, certain patterns that they've picked up here, certain um, quirks about them, that you have picked up on intuitively have spilled over debris from their past has spilled over into your connection because they simply saw no fault in how they were navigating life here and you stopped them dead in their tracks okay very powerful feminine energy that i'm picking up on here you definitely know your worth okay and your person does as well so if you've been wondering what's happening behind the scenes here yeah your person is being literally changed from the inside out okay and if you have been intentional about how you want to move forward within your life because i'm definitely getting that as it pertains to your love life you have certain boundaries that you have placed around your heart space divine feminine your person is stretching themselves okay a higher power has stepped in here to kind of help your person, to kind of help them order their steps to get into alignment with what it is that you need, okay? Definitely a heavy energy of reciprocity is over your connection right now. And I definitely feel like there is going to be a lot of positive changes coming your way, okay? Yeah. Sorry, loves, my camera cut off. But yes, there is a very powerful, powerful recalibration that's happening right now because I feel like this energy, this connection is very, very sacred, okay? You both know this. And I feel like that is what kept you um, in connection, okay? Your hearts are literally being guided in one another's direction here. But the universe has definitely stepped in to kind of fine tune this connection here, okay? Let's get the last message. Wow. We have divine timing. Yes. Okay. Very, very powerful. The universe, okay, is letting you know, a higher power is letting you know that everything is working out as it should be. You should have no worries at this time, okay? Your divine masculine is going through a very, very isolated process right now that is helping them shed their ego, that is helping them to become a higher version of themselves right now. Divine Feminine, you're in this place where you are learning just how magnetic you are um, simply by being yourself, simply by basking in your own essence, okay? Just being the embodiment of the Divine Feminine, okay? So yes, divine timing is over your connection right now. There's no need to worry. There's no need to be anxious about anything. Everything is working out as it should be, okay? This may be some form of confirmation for you at this time, but I'm definitely getting that big positive shifts are happening behind the scenes in your connection right now, okay? So these are the messages that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.